It's probably quite self-explanatory as to where I am. I'm in the racket stringing centre here at SW19 at Wimbledon. One of the most important places, I'd say, because without tennis rackets, there would be no tennis, no tennis, no championships. Gosh, it would be awful, wouldn't it? And I'm just going to just go to this chap here because this is the racket stringer himself of Rafa Nadal. That's right, he requests you each time he plays here. I mean, you must be pretty good. Yeah, I'm lucky to be a friend of Rafa and uh, I met him for a long time ago and uh, I'm, I'm the Davis Cup stringer as well and this is one of the reasons that he always gives me the rackets when, when he knows that I am in a tournament. Absolutely, so Rafa puts all his trust in you and is, is Rafa a um, demanding customer? No. No, it's an easy customer. <laughs> easy customer. There we go. Rafa Nadal, easy customer. Anyway, thank you very much, sir. And we're going to go over here to David Munt here. He's one of the racket stringers as well. Uh, David, you're looking busy at the moment. Can we ask you just whose racket you're doing, or is this a particularly easy racket to string? Yeah, it's a fairly um, standard racket. It's, for, it's actually for a player's coach. Um, racket will take roughly 20 minutes to string. Um, Every pair has slightly different strings, so yeah, 20 minutes is about average. Okay, and it, it seems quite um, quiet, everyone seems quite serious down here this morning. Is this usually the vibe? Because obviously you've got to get these spot on for the players. Yes, yeah, and, and mornings are, are normally busy. Lots of players need their racket strung ready for matches starting from half 11, so uh, mornings are busy, quietens down a bit and then picks up again. Absolutely, and how many on average rackets do you string a day? Beginning of the championships, we're looking at about 30 per stringer. Um, it will vary depending on the type of racket. Um, some could be higher, some will be lower. Some stringers are faster than others, so 30-ish is about where we are. Where do you rank then? Are you on the top, the fastest, the speedier stringers? Uh, it's not necessarily about speed. We have to do it for 16, 18 hours some days, so it's keeping that pace for the whole day. If we need to go fast for an on-court racket, then we can pick the pace up, but you're looking at five every two hours or so. Oh gosh, wow, that's intense. And you just said there, so you might get through 30 a day yourself, but how many rackets the players need strung throughout the tournament? Say someone's going all the way, yep. how many would they need? It varies on the player. Some will have a lot per match, some not quite so many. Some will have some just for practice. Some will use old match rackets for practice, but maybe 50, 50 to 60 is an average for someone who's going to go all the way through. Absolutely, that's a lot. And uh, I guess to each racket and I guess the tension vary completely depending on the player? Yes, yeah, it's completely different. You can have the same racket, the same string and completely different tensions. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's just personal preference down to the player. And, and how do you work that out? I mean, it looks quite technical down here. There's a lot going on. Uh, do you literally just hit some buttons and it's easy that I could do it? <laughs> For the tension, the, the player tells us what tension they'd like at the front desk. It gets put on the label. Um, and then from the machine, yeah, we can set the tension so the, the machine will pull the correct tension. Cool. And what are the strings made out of? Loads of people want to know that question. So this one is a, a monofilament, so it's a polyester string. Uh, it's what we use a lot of these days. Uh, natural gut is still very popular, um, but they are the two main ones we'll see here using the championships. Okay, awesome. And we obviously just uh, met Rafa Nadal's stringer, his own stringer. Uh, do you get requests from any players yourself? Um, not necessarily individual requests. I, I only come in really for the, the busy days at the beginning of the tournament. So um, the days I'm here, I'll string for the same ones, same players, but there's no specific requests. I've got a question as well that I want to know. How do you become a racket stringer? <laughs> it's a very unique job. It is, and I actually got... I learned through my coach because he got bored of stringing my rackets. Um, I broke a lot of strings, so he taught me to string my own 18 years ago. And from there, I kind of got a little bit hooked somehow, and now I'm here. So if you string your own rackets, you don't obviously need a machine like this to do that? To a certain degree, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, the machine is what will give you the consistency mm -hmm. if if you need a specific tension if your machine's not correct you won't get that tension um so it is very key to getting the, the consistency super techie and i want to know because obviously there's a lot of people up and down here stringing rackets at the moment in terms of how much string you maybe go through in a tournament do you have any idea how much that would be um 2015 we worked it out and we had enough to do just over a marathon. I think it was 27.1 miles a string. 
that's a that's a pretty long way, isn't it? Pretty long. I think if you actually work that out, it goes from Centre Court all the way to Windsor Castle, where the Royals obviously got married earlier in the year. So that's a, a super long distance. A lot of string goes in to all the rackets here at the Championship. David, thank you so much for chatting to us. No uh, good luck with the rest of your day and whoever's racket that is, because it's such an important job.